This year marks the 500th anniversary of the death of Jesuit St. Francis Borgia. A high-ranking Jesuit lived his life in Spain and Italy. He was the son of the Duke of Gandia and the grandson of Pope Alexander VI. At age 18, he was sent to the court of his cousin, Charles V, the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, also known as King Charles I of Spain. One year later, he married a Portuguese noblewoman named Eleonor de Castro and had eight children. When he was 29 years old, he was made Viceroy of Catalonia. In 1543, he inherited the title Duke of Gandia after the death of his father. He inherited the Duchy of Gandia very early because his father, the Duke Juan, was the third duke to die very young. He then had to take care of the Duchy of Gandia. He fortified Gandia, constructed a Dominican convent, and restored the city's hospital. When his wife died in 1543, his life took on an interesting twist. He began to practice the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius and took his vows in secret in order to join the Society of Jesus. In 1550, when all his children had grown up, he moved to Rome. There he met St. Ignatius of Loyola, and he later worked on expanding the Jesuit order. That year he became a priest to give of himself totally. He gave up everything. He even passed up offers from the papacy to be a cardinal, and also to be considered for pope. He is a very interesting figure in history, and very important. In 1556, they elected him Superior General of the Society of Jesus. From this moment until his death 16 years later, he succeeded in building two Roman churches, and he founded the Jesuits' first university, the Roman College. It was a life that began in the riches of the royal court and ended humbly with his giving up all of power and wealth.